Well, Semtien didn't respond to our request for comment, and the Italian company uh, IPS denies any wrongdoing and says it always operates in full respect of all export regulations. Right, we can speak to Claire Lauterbach now, who's a research officer at Privacy International, which is a UK-based charity that investigates the secret world of government surveillance. Claire joins us live now from London. What are your thoughts, then, on seeing the Al Jazeera investigative report? Well, what's really unique about this documentary is that it's really for the first time that we're seeing directly evidence of how companies um, show themselves willing to circumvent uh, the laws that exist that uh, restrict the sales of these technologies. And we've been talking about this for years, but this documentary is really the very first clear evidence that we've seen of how exactly this industry works. I mean, that was only a, a, a cut-down version of the full uh, documentary as you... Uh as you've mentioned, but it does seem very much as though the laws and regulations that are in place are, are pretty easily circumvented. Yes, I mean, uh, the evidence of the documentary shows the different ways in which the companies propose to do so, from falsifying paperwork to working through middlemen. Uh, it's quite clear that uh, they are able to go around the laws. And what it should be said is that the, uh, the regime that uh, concerns the uh, um, trade in these technologies is not actually that strict and so what we're calling for is greater transparency to this uh, trade. So this this trade of these uh, shadowy companies and uh, and perhaps potentially oppressive regimes I mean who does it threaten who stands to lose the most? Well, I think it's the citizens that stand to lose the most because what we have seen is that um, some of these technologies, which are mobile technologies, it's quite clear that the sellers have no um, interest in who they're selling to. So the possibility is that these technologies might be sold onwards to criminal groups, gangs, uh, terrorists, and that's for the mobile technologies. As concerns the second product that's, sold, that's offered in the film, uh, the IP monitoring system, that's potentially uh, all citizens of a, of a country could potentially be monitored from this with huge implications for democracy and for the ability to speak freely, for example. Claire Lauterbach, thank you very much indeed for talking to us live from London.